Go ahead. Billy, uh, what did you think of the way you guys handled their uh, ball pressure in the second half? No, I, I think it was very good. Um, you know, I thought it happened. I thought it started. Wesh did a pretty good job. I just thought coming out of the third, we were okay. I thought it was, you know, very similar to Oklahoma's like the last three or four minutes of that first. And then they kind of, you know, kept it up. And, you know, these are the opportunities, I think, for, you know, our, our, our backcourt guys to, you know, recognize some of those things. And, um, you know, hopefully the last two games just can give us a little bit of an opportunity to, 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 to get better. You know, I'm, I'm God willing, our team stays the way it is with, uh, you know, no more guys being out with COVID or injuries. Um, I think, you know, this will be one of the things that we'll have to get better at and improve upon. Yeah, how much of that is kind of the adjustment to, as we were talking about pregame, not having Lonzo and Caruso, guys that can get you into stuff quickly and get you, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's it. I mean, you know, you know, Io's being pressured, Kobe's being pressured too. And, and um, you know, you're trying to get the proper spacing, um, but also guys are going to have to come back and help when, when they're in trouble. And a lot of times when that happens, you're trying to, it's hard to get into anything. And next thing you know, you're up against the clock and then you're, you're taking really difficult challenge shots. And, you know, we've got to be able to be better, you know, in terms of go like, I thought, one of the things that we didn't do a good enough job is I think when teams are, are picking up like that, there is no offense, just go, just attack it and go and, and touch the paint. And, you know, generally you're going to generate a pretty good shot. I thought when we did that a few times, we kind of regained some momentum, even though we lost the lead, we got up by 10 or 12 or whatever it was, but there is no offense in those situations. You got to attack. Now, obviously the walk-up situation is a little bit dif different when they're, when their defense is set, but I think there's an opportunity, like I said, for us to really go. Cause I think as they were pressing, you know, we were just kind of like, we were, we were going through stages. It was like getting it inbounds, getting it across half court, and then trying to get an offense. And then there's just not enough time to do that. And, um, you know, I think we need to be better spacing wise. So, I, like I said, I think there's a lot of things that we can learn from this and get better from. First, you guys were, uh, were trapping a lot yourself. It was that I'm sorry. Were, you guys were trapping a lot defensively yourself. Yep. Most of the game. Was that mostly a case where you just thought you were a short, a little, undersized at one spot so that you well they're, they're a unique team you know with Ananobi and Siakam um you know and even Barnes you know they're very very big so inevitably you're going to be you know in situations where they're generally playing against smaller people and they post up a lot and those guys are it's not like you have to throw it deep in the post they can get there off the dribble and with their strength so we just felt like we just didn't want to put each other on an island where we're expecting, you know, guys just to stop a guy. So we had to, you know, bring help. I thought we did a good job of that, you know, in the first half. Um, we, I thought we were okay in the second half. We had some really good possessions of it, but it was just more not letting those guys, and you, and you saw at the end of the game, I mean, they were just trying to play over top of us at the basket and just use their length and size and athleticism. And I, you know, I thought our defense there the last few minutes was, was okay. We did a pretty good job of hanging in there and rebounding. But I think if you look at their team, it's, you know, it's transition getting back and, and stopping easy baskets. And then when shots go up a lot, in a lot of ways, that's when the game starts with them, you know, cause they're so big and strong and they, they got some second chance opportunities and we fouled them around the basket. But for the most part, I thought we tried to help each other fairly well. Billy, the big shot that Booch hit at the end, did that just feel like one he really needed? Yeah, I mean, I think it was a, it was, it was hard for Vooch. You know, it was like one of those games. I think with, you know, their way they're playing, and that they can almost play Barnes, who's really a small forward at the five spot because he's so athletic and big and strong. And you know, even Siak, like they can play with those two guys, the four and five. They had Boucher out there because maybe Trent went out. Um, they moved some different pieces around, but in a lot of ways, I mean, they, they, they almost played without a point guard, you know, to start the game, they had Trent at the two guard spot and they put the ball in Siakam's hands or Barnes's hands, let him play the point. So I think like for Vooch with all the switching and the aggressiveness, you know, and, and Vooch is in screening action. A lot of times he's getting the ball and guys are rotating to him and guys are slapping at the ball and he's trying to get it to the next guy. So, like I said, I think not only for our backcourt, but for everybody, we could, we can learn how to, you know, handle those situations. But I, I thought Vooch had a really good first half offensively. Um, we got it to him a few times. We tried to go inside. They were trapping him as well to get the ball to his hands. Uh, but the three that he made was big, you know, it gave us some separation. I think it put us up with up by six with, when it, with it being a three point game. The trend, the last two games of building the big lead early and then having it kind of washed away as the game goes on. Does that, does that concern you at all that that's happened the last two games and uh, you know, just what level of concern do you have with that? Well, you know, I, I think we have to get better from it. The, the, the concern is I think with Lonzo and Alex out as primary ball handlers that it kind of had been out there. Um, 
it's it's a little bit different right now. There's a lot on on Isles' plate, and he's done a really really good job. Um, but he had a high minute night again tonight, around 38 minutes. Um, we have to get better from this. So you know, is it is it a concern? Yeah, it's a concern. Not from the perspective that um, you know we we are not gonna you know we're, we're gonna see different things. This this is. I'm not doing a good job explaining this, but this is the opportunity for our team to really grow. If I can get in these situations and really get better from them, and even Kobe, when we do get a little bit more whole, I think it allows them now to play in a way that they've seen some of this stuff before. And, you know, if you have Alex out there, like our normal closing lineup, there's a lot of ball handling out there between Zach and DeMar and Alex and Lonzo. You know what I mean? And someone is able to really get us into it. And this is all different, you know, for, for, uh, you know, for IO and Kobe, and I'm not just saying them, even, you know, for DeMar and Vooch when, and, and Zach, the ball's in their hands a lot at the end of the game too. So really it's our whole team. I don't want to single anybody out. Our whole team's got to do a better job. So what was your perspective on DeMar getting the second technical, but the first wasn't on sportsman. Like, did you kind of realize what was happening in real time or did they say anything? On me and then the, the elbow play? No, he got the second technical foul, but the first one's for grabbing the rim. So you don't get. Yeah, yeah. Hit. Yeah, I I, I'm, I want to go back and look at the second one, not the grabbing the rim one, because I didn't really have a great angle because the defender was between myself and DeMar. And it was between the the official had the same view I had because he would basically write it about the level I was standing at. And the official was right there. They called an offensive foul. You know, DeMar was pretty adamant that he didn't do it. I didn't see it. Um, but, you know, again, I it was maybe a tough call. He just called it. I don't know how he called it because it was really I had hard vision to see. You know, obviously, I think Trent went back or acted like he had gotten fouled. Demar was pretty adamant that he didn't foul him, and you know, we'll see what the film looks like. What does it say when your when your big three, Vooch, Demar, and Zach, have the assist numbers that they have tonight? Seven, eight, eight. Well, I thought we shared the ball. You know, our system was really good in the first half. We had, like there was a lot of really good things we did. They're a very good team. They're long. They're athletic. They're you know the different kind of team. And um, I thought our guys shared it. And you know, we had some turnovers in the second half, but you know, overall, the unselfishness has been there all year long with these guys. Last thing, uh, quickly from it. I noticed that Mo Cheeks wasn't on the bench tonight. Is everything okay with him? Or just... so Mo Cheeks and John Bryan, our staff, both have tested positive, and they're in protocols. Okay, thank you.